I'm sorry that we're doing the video right now. It's so late. I know you won't gonna do it. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. Do you know that I noticed that when you go all like, sorry, 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 then it makes me feel like A, you're kind of pathetic and B, like, like I'm angry, even though if I'm I wouldn't sorry. have even I'm thought about it. I'm sorry I said that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Do you know that? When somebody over apologizes all the time, whether it's you or your partner. Over everything, even things that you barely even notice. Well, today we're going to finally crack down on that. Stop it. Hi, my name is Dr. Sal Romanelli. And I'm Galit Romanelli. And this is The Potential, Potential State. State. And today we're going to talk about stop over apologizing. Yeah. We see this all the time, and I see this a lot in the clinic, especially with women. Yes, women tend to apologize a lot more than men. Right. So first of all, men start apologizing more. But <laughs> if you are one of those people that over-apologizes, um, a lot of times I see this, especially with women, they see this as, as a marker of uh, being um, disempowered or more victim-y. And they're like, oh. But there's another shadow to that, to that mm. pattern of the person who over apologizes about everything. Excuse me for that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Oh, sorry. sorry. Sorry, sorry. I sat down. Is that okay to sit down? Is that okay? Can I, sorry, can I speak? Sorry, down? I took your pen. Sorry, sorry. And this is what happens, okay? This we're going to present on the shadow, the manipulative side of the over accepting, over apologizing. So here's the thing um, refer back to the victim triangle episode. Because what happens when you over apologize? Two things happen. The first thing is it's a, it becomes a self fulfilling prophecy. Because I'm apologizing more and more, and if I over apologize at a certain point, that will become annoying. And then Galit or whoever's with you will start um, getting upset at you. That's really annoying. Stop well, it. Well, I think that what it does is it kind of highlights things that, right? It like puts things in our conscious mind that otherwise we wouldn't even notice and wouldn't be an issue. But you're apologizing so much that it kind of becomes this sorry here, sorry here, sorry. It becomes accumulative. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, this person did so many things that they apologized for. I guess they, you know. Do you know what I mean? They're bothering me. They've done something wrong. I guess they have done all right. these wrongs. So exactly. So over time, that is starting to be annoying, and then you will get start getting upset. Right, because you're you're noticing a lot more the, 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 by apologizing all the time. You're surfacing kind of places where, even if you've done nothing wrong, you're by apologizing. You're surfacing places where potentially your partner is now aware of all these things that you have done wrong because that's what you're verbalizing. Yeah, well, we're talking about cases where you're apologizing even for things you have done nothing wrong. No, I know, but that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that because we're in because your partner is constantly saying, sorry, 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 there becomes this accumulative feeling of like, oh, this person is like constantly messing up, constantly doing something wrong, constantly, you know. Mucking up. And yeah. And that gets annoying and then you get it aggressive. It gets frustrating. Yes. Right. I even if it's things that you... Otherwise, would not have even paid it. it would have never crossed your threshold of consciousness. Exactly. That's my point. Good. Thank you for bearing with me. Thanks. Yeah, See you. that I didn't say sorry. I said thank you. Um, and the second thing, and this is the deeper manip manipulation, almost unconscious. It unconsciously makes the the other partner um, feel implicitly that they're bad. That, that they're, they're the persecutor. Exactly. Because over time, somebody says to you, "I'm sorry. I'm sorry." I'm like. Wait, why are they saying I'm sorry? I guess I did something wrong. If we think about the the tri the victim triangle, then by you apologizing, that casts you as the victim, and then it casts the other person as the persecutor. The, the persecutor. And over time, what will happen? The other part will suddenly feel like they're or the savior. But or either the, way, right? Either you're way, you start like, like the in distress, and I right. need to do something to help you. Right. It becomes a, it comes a burden on them, and especially see this with couples where they become the actual uh, persecutor. And here are the two taxes you pay. First of all, for the mm. person who's over apologizing, if I apologize again and again, over time it becomes weak, pathetic, annoying. Also, heavy. it's a it's a waste of energy. There's a way that we can shift that energy from from apologizing to thanking or like right we can yeah, we'll reframe to, to the positive we'll get that later first we're saying what the problems are right? <laughs> okay. then we're solving i always like to fix things right so first I of like all you become heavy positive spin heavy annoying um pathetic and then over time people will just avoid you because if you're over apologizing just it's heavy to come close it becomes taxing to be so people just rather exactly so people would rather just move away right or do videos by themselves exactly <laughs> exactly and the last thing is when when you really will have pain no one's going to hear you it's like the boy who cried right wolf. because there's so many sorries it's hard to differentiate between like the 
genuine sorry and the kind of mundane sorry. Exactly. And the tax for the partner, like if you're in a relationship with somebody who's always over apologizing, over time you are going to feel bad and guilty or responsible for your partner all the time. It becomes right. taxing and then intimacy becomes heavy and then we start avoiding. Yes. And then here's another thing. And, and when I do say to the partner, if I'm over apologizing and Galit says, stop it, I'm not, I'm not angry. You don't have to apologize. Yeah. Oftentimes I'll also be seen as aggressive. So the partner is in a lose-lose. Or then you're like insulted. Right. Because like, but, but I apologize. Right. So stop apologizing. So whether you accept that you say, I forgive you, and then you become the persecutor. If you say, no need to, get, to apologize, in both cases, you're in a lose-lose. Hmm. And when partners are in a lose-lose, what they usually do is they... Avoid. They avoid. Parallel lives. So mm -hmm. two quick examples. One is a couple I worked with a while back. And we, she kept over-apologizing for everything. And she apologized for not having dinner ready in time. It's like, I'm not even... Yeah, nobody, even, nobody expected, expected it. it to be ready right now. And as we were unpacking this, he suddenly realized that for the past 20 years, she's constantly over-apologizing for things he didn't even care about. And he kept saying, I don't care about that. She was like, yeah, yeah, of course you do. And then he said, you know what, I've been... This is really true. He had this moment where he's like, yes, I'm feeling guilty all the time in mm. my marriage. Mm. I know with me, I used to say a lot sorry in, in various environments, like at work or with, e like even in emails, it would, it would, um, it would kind of sneak its way in. And then I just, I, I, well, there's a great app called Just Not Sorry. And it highlights, um, you know, where you over apologize and how to. Flip, flip it. it to write something else. And so I've really, that really helped me become more aware of how, I, how, you know, where I was signing with an apology or making an apology that wasn't necessary. There was no need for it. And it gave me an alternative, which I think is really important. Yeah. So, and it made me realize where I do it also with us and in my other relationships. Right. And, and just one last example, um, I once worked with a woman who kept apologizing so much that everyone actually experienced her as kind of like a persecutor, like a martyr, and just people would move away from her. Mm. They didn't want to talk to her, they want to engage with her, became heavy. Yeah. And that is a kind of self-fulfilling prophecy that leads you straight into feeling sorry for yourself because everyone mm. doesn't have energy for you. Yeah. So how to change that? How? First of all, reflect and see if you are an over-apologizer or in a relationship with an over-apologizer. Yeah. Log kind of Log like. it. And how do you know if you see they're apologizing for way too many things? Yeah. But like really, even like, I would say even really small mundane things. For instance? I don't know. Like, sorry, I took your pen. Sorry, I misplaced that when it's things that are like, sorry, you so finished important. cleaning up the table before you came back home. It's almost like a, ah, right, and, it, and, right. and, and, and like how it's delivered, right? It's always delivered. Like, ah, just don't get angry. Yeah. 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 Sorry, sorry for living. Yeah. But it's also like, ah, and they're almost like egg shelling around the partner, making the partner feel mm, like he's mm, done something mm, wrong. Mm, mm. First thing is say the thing instead of saying, sorry. First of all, you can just name it. You can just say, I want to apologize, but actually that's not what I need to do right now. Well, I think that that transferring an apology to thank to you. thank you is really helpful, right? It also helps us move from guilty to gratitude, from feeling guilty to gratitude, right? right? Instead of feeling sorry and apologetic, right, which is kind of guilty, you're feeling grateful, so you're thanking the person, right? Like, thank you for, for waiting for me. I know I was like coming home. I really appreciate you waiting for me with dinner. Instead of being like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry I'm late, I'm so sorry I'm late. Right. And also, I want to say, um, own your shit. Notice this. If you notice you're over-apologizing and it's kind of an easier way for you to paint yourself as the martyr, as a benevolent partner, notice that. And then try to not say that. Try to actually, as it's coming up, you can see it. You can try just to look, name, at it. Just look at it. Look at it. Even if you have to verbalize it just to get it out. Like, Be I curious. want to apologize, but I'm not going to apologize right now. Like, even if you need to first just... Work with it a little bit yeah. out loud. Rehearse yeah. that out. Hmm. A good way to, to counteract that is to say to yourself and to the partner, it's not that important to me. Watch that episode. Because it's not that important to me is like the opposite of I'm over sorry. Who says I'm not that important? No, that's, it, not, that's that important. not important to me. Instead of over apologizing all the time, you can actually go to a different direction. Uh -huh. And take it to the other extreme of saying, I'm not going to apologize for this. Dinner's not ready. It's just it wasn't a priority for me right now. Hmm. So try to actually go to the opposite direction. Because if you're assuming, if you know that over time, over apologizing will cast your partner as a persecutor and will prevent you from going deeper in your relationship, maybe it's worth it. Maybe it's in your enlightened self-interest mm. to go a different direction. Mm. And for the listener, 
when somebody says, and when you are, when you're in a relationship with an over apologizer, you can actually try to react differently. Be playful, and you can either say, "Yes, you do have to apologize. Apologize all day." What you want to do? You want to take this and be playful with it instead of just getting upset. Or you can help them and say, "I think maybe you meant to say thank you for you know." I can only think of waiting for me. I can't. Or I can also say, as the Pope, I hereby forgive you. Because what you're basically <laughs> trying to say to them is to soften this tendency. There's no need to get over apologetic. Yes, it's not necessary. Don't get upset by it and don't fight them. You it. both want to um, shift your energy to other things, exactly. to more important things. Exactly. So stop apologizing. But that doesn't mean that you don't apologize when you need to. And one last shout out. We have another video on the four types of sorry. You can check out that talk. So this was Gilly Romanelli. This is Dr. Sal Romanelli. And we're the potential, potential state. state.